Okay, so we are done by done with the transformation using Hive, Spark, and Pig. Now let's do a transformation of a nested JSON data using Spark. Again, we go back to our virtual machine. We start a terminal and we're going to run this command. So as it says, first we need to put test JSON data into HDFS for further transformation. So in the terminal window, we're going to use the HDFS command. And then they say the, in the part six, we're going to automate all the steps in a package. That's the last lab exercise. We're going to paste this command and execute it. You can see the JSON formatted file with records of movies nested rating records between one to five. So this will be the input for our mapping. And you can see that in the model HDFS movie, movie rating, once we are done with this lab. So we should see that once the command is done, there it is. Okay, we go again, we'll use the mapping, JSON flatten. So the mapping logical view shows the transformation used. So HDFS movie rating provides a nested JSON information about each movie with subarray of ratings for each movie. Flattening is being used to unnest those uh, queries. It will do a cross product of each movie with its nested rating. Aggregated is used to group all the ratings rating based on movie ID and calculate average of the movie rating. And finally, we have the expound function which is going to round off the rating so let's go to a virtual machine and this is the one we were talking about let's uh, switch to physical view and execute it So we're going to run that once it is the run is finished. And if it is successful, we can look at all the execution steps and then go to movie rating, higher movie, movie rating, and see the view of data. And hopefully we'll be able to see uh, the, the one which were transformed in HDFS. We would get to see those. They are the ones which were done right here. So it looks like uh, it was completed and the steps were successful. Uh, let's go to our designer uh, model. Hive movies, movie rating, view of data. So this is what we were talking about those have been loaded. So that's it for this lab.